motion to exit executive session. I'll make that motion. Thank you, Mr. Parsons. I'll second. Thank you, Mr. Hall. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Do you oppose like that? Motion passed. Do you have certification of executive session? Uh, <clears throat> I move to certify that to the best of our knowledge, only public business matters lawfully exempted from open meeting requirements and only such public business matters as were identified in the motion to go into executive session were heard, discussed, or cons considered in executive session. <clears throat> the codes were 2.2-3711A1 personnel, 2.2-3711A7 consultation with legal counsel, 2.2-3711A8 consultation with legal counsel in general. Okay. Yes. Bob? Yes. Ms. Conklin? Yes. Ms. Garrett? Yes. Mr. Parsons? Yes. Myself? Yes. Mr. Zach, would you stand and please pledge allegiance to the flag, allegiance to the flag of, the of the United States, States of America, America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Would anybody like to address the board? Let's bow our hearts for a word of prayer, if you would. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for the opportunity again to be out to do the county school's business. And we just thank you for the board members, the administration, and ask that you give them the wisdom to lead this county the way that you have fit. And we thank you for those that we're honoring tonight and for the abilities and talents that you gave them. And we ask that you forgive us for where we take you for granted, where we drop the ball. And we ask these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Michelle. Anyone else? Are there, any, are there any adjustments to the agenda? No, sir. All right. Any motion to approve the finalized the agenda? I'll make that motion. Thank you, Mr. Parson. I'll second that, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Is that for you? All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, say like something. Motion passed. I see everybody had an opportunity to uh, see, review the minutes from May the 4th, 2023, our last meeting. We need a motion to approve the meetings. The last one the meeting. I'll make the motion. Thank you, Ms. Compton. I'll say. Thank you, Mr. Brown. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Uh -huh. Any opposed, say like so. All right. Dr. Ripper, time for recognition. Okay. At this time, I'd like to ask Ms. Georgia McCoy to come forward. Thank you, Dr. Hooker. Mr. Chairman, Vice Chair, members of the Russell County School Board, uh, we have some recognitions tonight, um, and I know all the principals and, and the parents are very proud. Our first set, of course, is from the Russell County Career and Technical Center, the Skills USA State winners. So I'd like for uh, them to come forward and their parents, if you would, when I call your name, um, Colton Barton. Parent Ty Compton, Garnet Cox, Parents Garland and Paula Cox, Booker Steffi, um, Sarah Steffi, and Dad Keith Steffi, and Terrence Jones, Louise Holbrook, and Dad Billy Jones, and Mr. Raskett, the principal of Russell County Career and Technical Center. Mr. Aspect, before Ms. Sucre presents the awards, would you like to say a few words? First of all, I'm real proud of these students and the dedication and the hard work that they put in for this competition. Uh, when you have dedicated and talented instructors and you have dedicated and talented students, uh, success is going to happen. And that's uh, why they're here tonight. But I want to thank the, the parents for the uh, encouragement and uh, all the time that they spent uh, uh, helping these students along to be successful at the state level. 
Thank you. Dr. Hooker? We have Booker Steffi. He's a very talented student in the fact that it's very uh, rare that we have a student that's a first year student uh, to be able to go to the state and win and compete uh, like he did. He's very talented. Colton Barton. by the Russell County School Board in recognition of winning first place Skills USA Welding Sculpture. Colton is uh, a senior this year. This is his. He's a fourth year student. Uh, one of the uh, very few that we ever have a fourth year student. Uh, I wish Mr. Gilmore was here to. Uh, I'm not real familiar with uh, uh, his project and all, but I do know that every spare minute he worked on it. I wish we could have had it. Uh, he's working on it for the Nationals, and we didn't have it to bring over here tonight, but I, uh, I wish that all of you could see uh, what he has put together for the, the winter. He also won last year and got a scholarship. Where is it you're going to Colton in Florida for in the welding school? Jacksonville. Jacksonville. So he'll be going there this fall. Congratulations. Yes. Garnet Cox. Garnet Cox, in recognition of winning first place Skills USA in Brick Lane. He's also a talented student. Brick Lane, uh, Mr. Brooks, maybe can help me here a little bit, but Brick Lane is not a, a competition that we go on to the national with, but if it had been, he would have been the one that would be going as well. Terrence Jones. <laughs> Terrence Jones in recognition of winning third place Skills USA in Masonry. And I'd also like to recognize one of their teachers, Mr. Shannon Brooks. So if you'd like to say a few words. Uh, these three young men that I took up there in the Brick Lane and Masonry competition are outstanding, outstanding young men. It's the best group I've ever had. Uh, they worked so hard. They had a goal. They worked toward it. And uh, you see what happens when they do that. And they're just out super outstanding. I told them in the shop one day and they kind of looked at me funny. I said, you won't win that contest at Virginia Beach. And they're like, I said, you're going to win it in the shop by practice. You'll have it one before you get up there. And they work super hard and it, it shows. They've done an excellent, excellent job. Shake the hands of the school board members and then step out and have a wish to make with the board and the news.
and if the principals would come forward as well, Ms. Eaton, uh, Ms. Whitney Sizemore, and Mr. Bush. <coughs> Okay, I'd like to say uh, we have one piece of art here with us tonight. It's Destin, Destiny Coleman's piece of artwork. If Ms. Hooker would like to show that's beautiful. Um, it is, she's from Hunnaker High School in the um, uh, middle school, actually, a category. And uh, absolutely beautiful. And the other two pieces of art, um, uh, proud to say they are not here and we can't see those right yet because they are hanging in Charlottesville because they're regional winners and they'll be there until spring and will not be hanging in our, our downstairs lobby until uh, we get those back. So they were absolutely beautiful pieces of artwork. They definitely were. I was honored to have those in my office for a while, uh, That especially the giraffe. <laughs> the draft that I named Gigi, so I will tell you, I can't wait to tell you, when I had a bad day, I looked at Gigi. <laughs> we do have some uh, uh, awards for each one of those winners uh, for us here. Yes, Miss Kaylee Couch. Kaylee. In recognition of the from of the VSBA art contest, first place water watercolor tempera category in the elementary school division. Congratulations. The other VSBA contest winner is Chayden Music. Chayden, had you want to tell them about your art? <laughs> yes, she did a Harry Potter of the Hogwarts, and it was so detailed, it was beautiful. So congratulations. In recognition of the VSBA art contest, first place, pen and ink category in the middle school division. And we have Destiny Coleman. Destiny. In recognition of the Russell County Art Contest, first place pen and ink category in the high school division. <laughs> this is Destiny's art piece and it will go out here for the year, so we really appreciate you guys. Very talented. Mr. Bush, Miss Eden, Miss Sizemore, would you like to say a few words? Uh, she is so talented and I can honestly say we look forward each year to what she's going to produce because it is always just amazing and she's just such a sweet little girl. <laughs> um, I've known Chayden since seventh grade. I was her life science teacher and um, I was completely blown away when I first saw her last year's art pieces as well because they were also fantastic and she is such a well-rounded person already. Um, I'm very envious of when I was your age but uh, they're right. Her Hogwarts castle this year. I mean, every little brick, every little detail was done so meticulously, and we're just super proud of you. I know all three of these young ladies, and I guess you guys probably should know them because they've been up here every year. <laughs> Nobody's gonna beat them, so I'm very proud of each one of them. And uh, they're great kids, great students. Destiny at the high school. Uh, when we need something special done at school for some of our teachers, we'll ask her to do a drawing for us. And she did, uh, she, she does that. She's uh, outstanding in what she does. And I hope she continues to do that. She graduated this year. She is uh, going to Berea on a full scholarship. Oh, yes. Like that's, uh, Thank you. All right, if you'd like to shake hands with me, the school board, congratulations, all of you, and then step out and have a picture back. Thank <laughs> you.
So it's so, so good. Uh, Spencer came to Copper Creek as the head custodian in the summer of 2022. Spencer is the only custodian in our building and worked so hard to keep the building and grounds maintained in an excellent condition. Everyone that enters the building notices the neatness and cleanliness of it. Spencer is a young man in years with old timers pride in what he does. Spencer is kind and respectful and does his job with diligence. <coughs> he is helpful to our teachers, staff, and to the students. We are so proud to have Spencer as part of our Copper Creek family, and he makes our community proud of our school as well. It is an honor to nominate him as the Russell County Support Personnel Employee of the Month. So congratulations. Ms. <laughs> Robinson, would you like to say a few words on his behalf? I would. Uh, Spencer is a remarkable young man, and he is very young, but he is such a hard worker, and we are just so fortunate to have him, and I tried real hard to get him not to go to the beach, you know, get <laughs> but uh, he is very deserving of that vacation, so I'm very, I'm very proud of him, and uh, he does work so hard, and everybody notices, everybody notices. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Elementary School, so if she'll come forward along with Principal Dr. Seth Gent. <coughs> I'd like to read her nomination. It's so good. Marissa is one of the most dedicated educators I know. She works hard and worries as, and is in constant contact with her students. She wants to make sure they understand the content. Not only does she rock the classroom, but she always helps with their academic pep rally, from coming up with games to working on technology and seeing the games through. She never gives up on her students and the students in the school. We are so grateful to have her in our school. So congratulations. <laughs> Would you like to say a few words? Um, I'm so proud of Ms. Teresa. We had the opportunity to work together years ago, and then I've sent us on our separate paths. But uh, it's been great to be able to work with her again. She is an integral part to what we are, who we are at Soul Creek. And um, she's effective, she's efficient, and most importantly, she loves the kids, and they love her. I'm so happy for her to get this award, Teresa. Thank you so much. Teresa Lenny, Source Creek Elementary School, has been named Teacher of the Month. Yeah. 
several for our resignations and retirements for the board to approve. Did the member have an opportunity to review this? Uh, we entertain a motion. I make that motion. Thank you, Mr. Parsons. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Garrett, all in favor say aye. Aye. Can you oppose that sign? All right, moving on, they have approval of new personnel and transfers. Yes, Mr. Chair, we do have several as well on the new hires and transfers for the board to approve. Do you think member had an opportunity to review that? And so we entertain a motion to approve these? I'll make that motion, Mr. Chair, to Thank approve the new personnel and transfers as presented on our agenda. Thank you, Mr. Becker. Second. Thank you, Ms. Thompson. Thank you. All in favor to approve new personnel transfers, say aye. 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 Any opposed, like sign. Okay. Moving on to approval of coaching assignments for school year 2023. Ten oh. Tenure. 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 Yeah. Okay, approval of tenure. Yes, this is a list of tenure teachers that have reached the years to be tenured. Okay. Have members review this? I have a motion to approve the tenure. I make that motion. Thank you, Ms. Carey. Second. Thank you, Ms. Compton. All in favor say aye. Aye. Can you oppose like sign? And now, approval of the coaching assignments for school year 2023-2024. Did you ever have an opportunity to review those from each of the local high schools? Yes, sir. We have five action items tonight. The first one is the approval of employee health insurance for the 2023-24 school year. And I would like to say that there is great news. We expect a decrease in the monthly health insurance premiums for our employees by $635 per year on each plan, and that is on the 10-month payment. So we're real pleased with that. Oh, the same coverage. Yes, with the same coverage. I make a motion to approve this. I say, I'll uh, favor approval of employees' health insurance. Aye. Uh, Any opposed, like sign. Motion passed. Dr. Hooker, yes. I, I'd still like for us to check in to uh, see if we could absorb high for all of the their insurance if we, you know, because I think that'd be a big benefit for the teachers okay. if we can do that. We can check into it. Okay, our section, uh, second action item is the approval of the VHSL applications for the 23-24 school year. The school board has paid the annual VHSL membership fees for the last several years. The board members have access to the review the applications. The staff recommends approval to pay the VHSL membership fees for the 23-24 as presented. Okay, the board member have an opportunity to review that. Okay, all in favor of paying the VHSL application. Need a motion. Yeah. Motion. Thank, you. Thank, you. Right, thank you, Mr. Parsons and Ms. Garrett. I'm in favor of approval of VHS application payments. Say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Like sign. Motion passed. Okay, our third action item is the approval of the conduct code for the 23 24 school year. Each school year, adjustments are made to align our student conduct code with legislative actions from the spring and new Department of Education requirements. The staff recommends approval as submitted. Okay, so we have an opportunity to review. Okay, we have a motion to approve the conduct code. I 
I'll make that motion. Thank you, Mr. Parsons. Second. Thank you, Ms. Compton. I'll, I'll in favor approve the convict, convict code for 2023-2024. Say aye. 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 Opposed, I sign. Okay, the fourth item is an employee action. I recommend that employee A be moved from administrative leave with pay to dismissal for cause. All in favor, just say aye. 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 You need a motion. I need a motion and a second. I'll make that motion. Thank you, Mr. Parsons. I second it. Thank you, Mr. Parsons. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Say aye. Aye. Any opposed, like to sign. Okay, and our last action item is approval of items listed as surplus. Periodically, items will be deemed not usable or needed for Russell County Public Schools. The Transportation Department has several vehicles they would like to declare as surplus. Staff recommends declaring said items as surplus. We'll entertain a motion to do such. I'll make that motion. Thank you, Mr. Parsons. I'll second that, Mr. Chair. I thank Ms. Zekowicz. You know, in favor of approval of items to be listed in surplus, say aye. Aye. Uh, any opposed, like to sign. Okay. And now we're moving on to the sales tax. Is this woman an opportunity to review this sales tax for the month of uh, May? It's $404,883.44. And our AGM through April the 30th, 2023 was 3,157. Next will be your maintenance report. This program an opportunity to review maintenance report. If there are any questions or comments, there's a lot of work going on in the schools, especially this time of the year. Moving on to our expenditure report. Before we have an opportunity to review that report as well. Comment from uh, move on to future agenda <coughs> items. On your vehicles that you're but they're not listed there, will they be publicly advertised or how how about that? Uh, I'll check on that to see how they will be. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that they will be, okay, but I'll make sure. Ms. Hooper, I'd like to make a motion uh, to recommend to add an additional three years to uh, your existing contract, which would make a total of uh, four years uh, from June 30th of 23 to June 30th of 27. I would like to ask the attorneys to start negotiation for the three additional years. There's a motion on the floor. Thank you. Is the, is the motion correct though? I think you can just add three years, but June the 23 till June 27th would be four years. It well, adds add, to the, adding the three years. To the existing one year. Yeah. She already has that. She already so has one. We add three. Add, Motion and miscarriage, did you say? I should do. Okay. All in favor, say motion. Say aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Doing a wonderful job. I agree. Are there uh, any other concerns or issues being informed members? Let's see. I'd like to thank George Creek Elementary School for their supper tonight. It's delicious. Let's see, the next school board meeting will be a special call meeting on Tuesday, June the 27th at 4 30 to finalize the bills and personnel. Yes. And the date of our next school board meeting, we're going to change it to Tuesday, July the 11th, 2023. It's executive session at 5 and the meeting at 6 30. That's due to the proximity of 4th of July. 4th of July, yes, sir.
Yeah, I want to congratulate all the sports teams in Russell yes. County what they've done this spring and uh, Lebanon baseball stuff. They play the they're they're playing the semis tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow at right. ten o'clock. I think the girls singles I mean doubles. The doubles, tennis. They're still in it. All right, there's no other business. Can I have a motion to adjourn? I'll make that motion. Thank you, Ms. Hampton. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Garrett. Okay, we're standing adjourned. Would you?